So, uh, oh, this spongy observator, observatory, Observ observatory. Octoling level. Uh, no, 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 no. Just there you go. <laughs> Where are we going? Up here. Ah, no. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Nope. Okay. Over there. You, man. You man. Uh. Oh yeah. Skittle. Wee. Oh. The objects has to load. Okay. Have I got them all? 27, 24. Okay, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. I've got them. Okay. Wee. Switchbox shake up. This is like that one level in Splatoon 2. Ah, uh, that looks like Bubbler and Zook. Ah, uh, well. Oh. Well, I'd rather have Zook. Big Zook. Ah, uh, okay. Fine. At the moment. You know these switch boxes could be used in stages as well. Like that. This is such a sus area. Hang on. This is like so sus. Really? I'm actually gonna die because I feel like I've missed it. Hmm. Really? Nothing. Interesting. Oh, look at that. It's there. Ah, <laughs> they hit it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I didn't need to do that. Okay, that's a cool one. I liked that one. Ah, da -da. Da -da -da. Mm -mm. See, this is just a better version of this part of the level in Splatoon 2. Because that version had like, that version, that version had like a rotating cube that you had to paint all the sides of. This one just, you rotate one bit and it rotates for you.
Where's the key? Oh, there. And the constant is changed. From the depths of the sea, we emerged long ago, seeking the light to the surface. In search of the still greater light, we now send messages to outer space sealed in a disc. Perhaps one day we'll meet others like ourselves. 93. Spongy Observatory. Spongy. Spung. Spung. Okay. <gasps> oh, Stumpies. Oh, Stumpy boy. Oh, come on. Oh. I think under here. Okay. Not that well hidden at all, but <laughs> it's fine. Okay. Okay, I don't know why I'm looking for. God, could you imagine? Ah, oh, that was ever used in a stage. Ah. Oh. I mean, it it should never be used in the stage because it would be bad map design, but that'd be so satisfying to just see happen in a battle over and over again. I'm still annoyed that there isn't a new ranked mode in Splatoon 3, actually. That's something I wish they did. But I guess they're done with... Oh. Stop that. Ah, stop that. Ah, ah, stop that. Ah, oh. ah, no, but uh, okay. I only ever do two of them. That's weird. Spongy Observatory, the traditional calamari shanty of the calamari region. Nowadays, a song and dance may as well be carved into the very DNA of all inklings. It originates as a way to celebrate and see and give thanks to its bounty. Mm. Pinwheel level. I was gonna say they should have these as a stage gimmick, but there is a stage where they have these as a stage gimmick. Yeah, there is a stage where they have these as a stage gimmick, and it's museum. What's this? Oh. <laughs> Luke. Luke. not hit the place that I hoped it would. Yeah, I don't think I don't think it's under there, but that'd be really cool if it was under there. They definitely threw that just out of reach so that you had to use the, <laughs> the pinwheel. Ah, uh, okay. Wow, 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 wow. Mm-hmm. This is the best part of the Turquoise October soundtrack, by the way. <laughs> this is the best song of the way. Wow, 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 Oh, come on. Oh, I'll get out. Silly bitch. Okay. okay. I, thought, I thought I'd collect those balloons for some reason. <laughs> but I just didn't. <laughs> Stuck. Okay. I thought I saw something down there, but I guess not. 
<laughs> yeah, I think Splatoon 2 did these stages better, actually. These are pinwheel type stages. <laughs> Everybody's so creative. Wow. Why are we here? For what purpose do we exist? We must not dwell on these questions. We can merely trust the will of the universe to spend our days in the light. How many of the world celebrating the festival called life? 25. Hmm. I thought they were called spreaders, but no, no, that's a different thing. That's me. Okay, um, this is a sus starting platform, isn't it? <laughs> ah, this level. A better version of the one from earlier. Ha. Cool. but I guess not. Maybe the gamepad will tell us something. Maybe it will, but I've not looked at it before, so I'm not going to look at it now. Oh my god, really? Ah. Oh. He doesn't have the thing. He doesn't have the thing. Uh, I don't think he has the scroll. Though. No, he has the key. Of course he does. But I'm definitely... That's a big, a big, um, flutter. Big flutter. I don't know if I'm the only one who thinks this, but I feel like the flutters could be a really interesting special. Oh. Well, how do you get there? Hmm, <laughs> that's interesting. School me! I assumed that this was, like, the end bit of the level. I guess not. Oh, I just saw it. Okay. Okay, through academic circles with rising sea levels, the policy makers pay them no heed. At this rate, human civilization may end up buried beneath the waves. Will this, even this furry fellow, be consumed by the raging ocean? Octo. This one's a Salisbury rig. Okay. Everybody's so creative. Salisbury rig. Probably the most hated stage in, like, all of Splatoon. Nobody likes the stage, but I do. So, so, okay. I get it. I, I'm also, like... I don't have any memories of not liking this stage. Um, this was not a stage that I have any memories of not liking. All my memories of not liking a stage come from, like, Kelp Dome. I didn't like Kelp Dome, and I didn't like, um, Hamhead Bridge, but, again, it's all for, like, the way that it looks. I thought that this one looked cool because it was so complicated. I liked how complicated this was, because I thought that was cool. Um, but... Obviously, it doesn't make for a great stage layout. It's very easy to get lost on this stage. But also, this has the properties of Skipper Pavilion from Splatoon 1. Where, uh... It has the properties of Skipper Pavilion from Splatoon 1, where... It's... It's symmetricalness is vertical rather than horizontal. Meaning, instead of... You having... Instead of you being, like... On opposite sides... Instead of you being on opposite sides of the stage, you are on, like, the same side of the stage, and you start, like, you spawn in on, like, the left side and the right side, rather than the top and the bottom of the stage. 
if you know what I mean. So that's what the gimmick of this stage is. And what that means is, if you notice, we're shooting with our right hand. So if I stand here, we're shooting a wall. But if I stand in the exact same position on this side, we're shooting past. We're able to shoot past because we're left, we're right-handed. So um, that actually puts you at disadvantage, and that was true also of Skipper Pavilion. That was still true of Skipper Pavilion. Um, but it's fine when the stage is okay, when the stage is reasonably planned out and stuff like that. But this stage isn't reasonably planned out. It's like really, it's really thin. It's really vertical as well. So it's easy to have the advantage on this stage uh, by just being in a higher place. You know, this, this stage just goes up and up and up. Um, but yeah, combine that with the right-handed thing. It's just not a good stage. Um, people don't like this stage at all, um, especially in ranked. Um, this, this stage is much better in turf wars than it is in ranked um, because the ranked has like a, a different layout. Um, I believe Port Mackerel Splat Zones was bad in this game as well, but Splat Zones in this map is also just horrendous. Um, I'm pretty sure, anyway, I don't actually remember again, as I say, but when I was looking into why this stage was so bad, um, that's the sort of things that they were saying, you know. The right-handed thing, advantage, the vertical nurse is not very well panned out, everything's all skinny on the stages. Um, like, you know, all sorts of things. I remember what I liked was that crane. That crane, you can put a beacon on that crane, and that crane goes over the entire map, so you can jump to any point of the map in any time in the game. And, and it's a risk to get onto that crane. So, I always liked that crane, but everybody hates that crane. I love it. It's one of my favourite parts of the entire stage, but... You know, and I wish more stages had that, because... If you could get that, that was so cool. Top of fossil of a creature with an odd internal skeleton. A small skull indicates the creature was likely primitive with little intelligence. <laughs> Specimen appearance appears to have been fossilized in the middle of some kind of ritual. What a sad ritual that must have been. Okay. Unavoidable. Unavoidable flying object. A black on black spelly... Bl black spelly... Black belly skate pack. Octo striker. <laughs> A load of snipes. Oh, there's a something. A key. A key. Okay. Wham, wham, wham. You can definitely jump over this. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, there's the scroll. <laughs> okay, wait. I feel like if they if they put this game into three, this whole side area just wouldn't even be here anymore. Like that's how bad it would be. That's how much these these the three stages sucks. Just to put it into perspective, if you've played this game before, this was very short. Oh no, not bombs! Oh yep. Was a bit more wary, but yeah, it's fine. Black Belly Skate Park. That was in Splatoon 2, so I don't think it's gonna come back. But Black Belly Skate Park was alright, I guess. It was a very cool looking stage. It was one of my favourites in Splatoon 1 just because of what it looked like again, but that's not a way to judge a stage. Oh my beloved judge, it seems that the day has finally come. The capsule designed to remain cryogenically sealed for 10,000 years. Goodbye, my perfect little kitty cat. May the future be kind to you. Okay. Let's finish this. Enter the Octobot King. Hmm. UFO. What the fuck is happening? Um. Okay. 